Hey, I'm Jake, and for this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys some of my favorite shortcuts for the piano roll within Logic Pro X. So right now, I have a region with an electronic piano preset, and I'm going to draw in a piano note. It fills up 1 16th of a bar, so 1 16th is the division. Now, if I hold Option and use my arrow key, whether it's up and down or left and right, it'll nudge it. But if I want to move it by a beat or a measure, we need some key commands. So the first combination is control option, right? Just remember that. So control option B, M, D, or T. And I have it in the notes here. So control plus option is to move it by a measure. Control plus option B is to move it by a beat, D division, and T tick. So if I press control option M, then I press option right arrow, it moves by a measure. If I now change it and I say, okay, control option B, it's going to move by a beat. Now if I press control option D, it's going to move by 1 16th, a division. And T, control option T, is basically by a tick. And you can see it kind of moving. It's in very small increments. Now, not only can you just move this depending on the division that you want, you can also resize the MIDI note. So if I press Control Option M, the same shortcuts that we heard uh, that we that I reviewed a while ago. Now if I press Control Option M, then I hold Shift and Option and right click. It's going to expand by a measure. If I press Control Option B, then I hold Shift Option and the right arrow. It's going to expand by a beat. Now another thing is if you hold Option and you press any of the arrows it moves it up and down, left and right. So those are just some of the shortcuts that I like to use. And again, I'm going to open this up, take a print screenshot, just memorize it. I think it's really helpful, and I hope this video helped. Take care.